everybody. Uh, what I want to talk about today is the uh, unsung hero of Balov's linear measurement portfolio. So most people know us for this guy, the linear transducer product, which is very versatile, does an awesome job. Basically, this position marker travels across your sensor housing, gives you a position feedback. I want to point you to something that you may not be aware of. So if you look here, you'll see this little arrow has a null zone on it. That tells me that uh, this piece from my thumb to my, my index finger is not active measuring uh, range, stroke. And on this end, there's a similar dampening zone. So our effective measuring stroke is between my two thumbs. So in some applications where you need something pretty compact, this may not be the right tool for the right job. But that's where something like this guy comes in, the Balof Inductive Positioning Sensor. So let me hold them up together so you can see what we're talking about. Um, this has a 50 millimeter stroke length. This little guy here has a 40 millimeter stroke length. So it's less than half as long and uh, it has a very similar stroke uh, range and measurement. So how it works in the name, the Balif Inductive Positioning Sensor uses an inductive field similar to a prox, which we're all familiar with. So that active sensing surface is across the sensor housing. And we're looking for a position marker, which would be in this case, a ferrous target, not a magnet, traveling across this face. So this can be a component on our machine. This can be really anything. And in my case, I'm going to use a kitchen knife. So if I hold this up here, you can hopefully see our value. So this is, a, this is an analog voltage uh, output. So we're gonna see between zero and 10 volts. And as I move my kitchen knife across my housing, see the value go up. As I move it the other way, you can see the value go down. So a couple things to note on the back side of it, you'll see there is this red LED when the position uh, marker is present, green LED. So it gives you a little bit of diagnostics there. There's also on the other side, a teach button. So if you wanted to configure the stroke for something that's less than 40 millimeters in this case, uh, you can do that. There's also two convenient mounting holes on the back side. So talked about this being a shorter stroke, compact measurement, but you're not limited to just 40 millimeters. We, I think our smallest option is about 17 millimeters and it goes up to 133 millimeters, which is about five and a quarter inches. So we have a variety of housings available to you. And in each one of those housings, it can be analog voltage, you can do analog current, and then we also have an IO-Link interface option for this sensor. So you can tie it into really any sort of controller or card uh, for your application's needs. So let's talk about applications. Where could you use this guy? So if you look over my shoulder, you'll see there is a BIP sensor here, and it's measuring this uh, spindle location. So this application would be where we're trying to determine the uh, position uh, and status of a tool being clamped inside of the spindle. So you may have multiple tools and those spindles may be in different locations. So not only can it tell you if it's properly clamped based on the value, but it can tell you what tool it is. And also if there's a tool even present, you know, we talked about that LED it gives you a, just a present absence status. So that's one really useful application. Another application would say, install this on the side of a short stroke press, like a punch press. So you can install this on the moving component or the stationary component, and then your ferrous target is on the other side of it. And uh, based on the stroke length, you'd pick out your sensor. And then, you know, as your punch travels up and down, you know the depth of your punch. So same concept uh, with, say, an actuator. You needed to know the position of a pneumatic actuator or a valve position. You could install this on the side of the actuator and then have a ferrous target at the end of that actuator to give you your position feedback. So uh, we've seen this also um, in measuring whether or not a robot gripper is gripped or clamped, and that's kind of going back to positioning that actuator. So I'm sure there's a variety of other short stroke applications that you could think about, but the moral of the story here is that this guy, the Balif, uh, Balif's linear transducer product, is an awesome tool, but 
it may not fit all your requirements. So if you don't need something that's longer stroke length or super high precision, maybe the shorter stroke length, the IP sensor is the right tool for the job. We've got a lot of options out there, and these are just a couple things to help you in your quest for the right measurement tool. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.